What's up top 10 fam, hope you're having an awesome day, I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video. Animals are crazy intuitive, they may do stupid ass stuff sometimes like when my cat slaps anything in her path, like literally once I was cutting salmon to bake it later and she just came and slapped it, like why, what? I don't, I don't get it, why? <laughs> I don't know. But slapping salmon aside, animals can sense things that we simply cannot. Their senses are heightened, their vision is probably better, and I'm sure they have a ghost sixth sense of some sort. Dogs have been known to bark at thin air when really it probably wasn't nothing, it was probably a bloody ghost that Spot was trying to save your ass from. Yes, you are a good boy, Spot. Don't let anyone tell you different. Anyway, these are the top 10 scary times dogs sensed evil. Starting us off with number 10 is the dog suicide bridge. Overtown Bridge is located near Dumbarton, Scotland, and it has quite a dark history attached to it. Located near the bridge is the manor where Lady Overtown lived. After her husband died, she never truly got over her grief, and many believe she walks along the bridge located on their property. Many believed the couple used to experiment with alchemy and that visitors always felt a weird sensation when they crossed the bridge, like they entered some dark, overwhelmingly depressing force fields. After his death, that bridge was never the same. People claim they feel jabs in their back as they cross it and the sudden compelling urge to jump to their deaths. In 1994, a man threw his two-year-old son off the bridge because he believed he was the devil and then jumped off himself but survived. And if we feel it, then dogs definitely feel it even more. Around 50 to 100 100 dogs have jumped off this bridge to their deaths. Some get injured on landing, but most die straight away. That's too many dogs all jumping to their deaths for it to be a coincidence. Now, humans may have more of a sense to resist these suicidal thoughts prompted by Lady Overtown, but dogs won't, hence, they just jump off. Coming in at number 9 is the man. I never said evil would be restricted to just ghosts and the paranormal people, don't stereotype this video like that. Dogs, not gonna lie, are very easy to please, legit, let's face it, they are. They like almost everyone that are nice to them, but they do tend to have good intuition about people and this story proves that more than anything. The owner of the sweet dog is anonymous, but she goes on to say this happened when her dog was about 2 years old. Personality wise, the dog was happy to see all guests, whether she had met them before or not. She'd be excited and cuddly and her tail wagometer would just be breaking and that's how it was with literally everyone. Well, not everyone. One day the person's brother and his colleague visited the house and their dog cracked. Her fur stood on end, she would not stop barking and she looked like she was about to gnaw this guy's face off. Mind you, this dog had never shown any sign of aggression before now and she would not calm down till the guy finally left. The owner and her brother apologized to the co-worker because they weren't used to seeing the dog act that way. Little do they know a few months later that same co-worker was arrested for several counts of rape and sexual assault. So the dog was onto something. At number 8 we have the panther. This story was shared by an anonymous person titled Citizen. They said that they live in a very well documented haunted house and all the dogs they've had over the last 6 decades have sensed things in the house. Their current dog loses it every day at exactly 8 p.m. It's almost like her scheduled freak out. She stares into their dining room at first and shakes uncontrollably, then starts panting like crazy. She starts to climb onto the owner's neck and chest or just hides behind a chair for protection. Poor pup, my heart. It stabbed. The owner was well aware of what the dog may be reacting to, having lived in that house for so long, they probably saw their own fair share of ghostly sightings themselves. The owner decided to do some more sensitivity recordings, which uses a device that may pick up on sounds and waves that we can't hear. When they did it, they heard loud booms in quick succession amongst a crowd of different voices. And every so often, a man's voice would yell super loud, but the actual house itself would be quiet. They would just be hearing it on the device. And the dog would always start panicking when they would hear the man shouting. The owner was absolutely convinced that this meant there were some evil spirits haunting her house and giving their dog hell. Filling our number 7 slot is Lucy. Quora user Stephanie Black shared the story of her terrier mix Lucy. Now Lucy would follow Stephanie all around the house as most dogs tend to do and she liked sleeping right in the middle of Stephanie's bed for like 20 hours a day. I swear pets have no worries in the world. 
Life of a pet, I swear to God. Either way, on this day, Steph was in the bathroom and she could see into the hallway and saw Lucy come down the hallway, just bounding towards her. But just as she reached the border between the hallway and the bedroom, she stopped in her tracks. Her smile vanished, and despite Steph calling out Lucy's name, her eyes never flinched. She kept looking in front of her and then started whining like someone was hurting her and then lay down on her stomach. She then stood up and put her paws on the threshold between the hallway and the bedroom. Bedroom, like her paws were on someone. Steph calls for her again, but still nothing. And now she was worried, so she went right next to the area Lucy was staring at, but Lucy's eyes would not move from the spot. She whined even more like she wanted to move, but just couldn't. Again, Steph called her, and again, she just didn't move. Now Steph was like, screw this. She looked at the area her dog was looking at and told them, look, I don't know who you are, but this is my dog, not yours, so you better let her go and never do that to her again. And just as she said that, Lucy jumped back onto her feet and frolicked over to Stephanie like nothing had even happened. Dogs. Simple creatures. One minute they're possessed, next minute they're just frolicking. Now at number six is Amos, an educated redneck shared the story with us. His dog Amos was a really good natured dog and was always welcome in any liquor store the user went into. The user went to this one store a lot where most of the customers were college students who got a bit scared every time they saw Amos on the other side of the store. One day a customer walked in that the user had never seen before and Amos went into full attack mode like his life depended on it. He lunged for the customer and and the user stepped in just in time and grabbed his collar and shouted at him to stop. Amos stopped his attack but the whole time the guy was in the store, Amos would not stop growling at him. And that was legitimately the first and last time thus far Amos had ever acted like that. When the customer finally left, the user assumed Amos would be kicked out of the store but the bartender actually told the user how Amos is a great judge of character because the guy who was barking at used to get violent with the bartender and other customers and would often steal from different shops. The customer never came back to the liquor store after that and so I think Amos did a job well done sussing out that bad egg. Coming in at number 5 is Zoe. YouTuber Zach Clark uploaded a 4 minute video onto his channel of his dog Zoe barking at something he couldn't see. The dog was visibly upset and fixated on something in the house she clearly didn't want being there. In the video she sniffs around for a bit and just stares at a spot above the dining table and starts barking and growling at it. She even gets scared of whatever it is and starts backing away. Loyal as dogs are, Zoe then just paces in front of Zach, almost standing in between him and the spirit or ghost ghost and protecting him. Dogs really are a man's best friend. Even after the growling stops, you can see Zoe continuously sniffing around for the ghost scent, because obviously it doesn't have one, but to dogs everything and everyone has a scent, so she's probably like mind blown. At number 4 is the dog circle. This sounds like a dog cult story, but I assure you it isn't. Whitney Ware shared the story with us and claimed she had a co-worker that was convinced a poltergeist was following her. She shared all her evidence and experiences with Whitney, but Whitney still had her doubts. There's a skeptic when you see one. The co-worker was also a dog groomer who had multiple dogs of her own, and one day Whitney went to the kennels and saw all of the co-worker's dogs standing in a circle barking at something or some entity in the middle of them. They all were moving in unison like they were following something while continuously yapping away. They seemed to be interacting with it and trying to get it as far away from the co-worker as possible. Honestly, I don't know the last time a group of dogs just got into a circle and barked into it unless they were trained to do that. And I'm pretty sure these dogs weren't trained to do that because that just sounds like the dumbest trick to teach a dog. And so on that note, Whitney, if you don't believe your friend, at least believe her dogs. Filling our number three slot is the weed. Board. Now this one comes from a man who was recalling the story from his youth. Him and his best friend liked messing around with Ouija boards quite often and one day they went to his friend's house and connected with a spirit called John. It was all well and good and they decided to take the party back to his house and call John again. The storyteller had a little shih tzu at home who was quite old so it basically just slept and ate the day away. When they got to the last letter of the word John, the dog started barking like mad, jumping up and down continuously while staring into blank space. It was like it was hypnotized by something and was in a trance. They couldn't get the dog to stop jumping up and down and it just wouldn't calm down and I feel like I'd be worried for the dog's heart rate like you're old you shouldn't be doing that much exercise. When she 
Stefani stopped jumping, it was attack mode. She kept lunging forward and attacking something the boys couldn't see. Whatever it was seemed to be the thing that had had control over her moments before, and she wasn't happy about it. The boys quickly told John to go away, and the poor dog calmed down again. After that, they actually burned the Ouija board and never played with it again. Honestly, if this ghost John doesn't like dogs, he was probably evil. Now I'm kidding. You don't have to be evil to not like dogs, but you know, it just adds to the story, doesn't it? Adds a bit of spooky garnish to the story. <laughs> now at number 2 is Charlie and Stanley. Nina Lon has two pugs who are her and her son's ultimate protectors. One night they were fixated on something in her bedroom doorway and when Nina looked there she saw a shoulder and black trouser leg past the door. The dog started barking like crazy but wouldn't get off the bed. As if they wanted to attack or do something but they were just too scared to do it. Nina tried to ignore it hoping it was just a trick of the light but she knew it wasn't. And the fact her dogs were freaking out confirmed that for her. A few nights later, she was in bed at 3am when her dog started looking at something at the foot of her bed. She thought it was just a bug or a shadow or something that they'd seen, but all of a sudden her bed started shaking uncontrollably. Her dog started running around the bed, barking, howling, whining, crying, and at first Nina thought it was an earthquake or something, but then she was like, wait a minute, I live in the UK, this can't be an earthquake. The dogs were continuously barking at the bottom right corner of the bed and then they just froze. Three loud knocks on her bedpost followed and then the dogs ran onto Nina standing on her chest barking above her head protecting her with everything they had. Without time to even get herself together whatever it was that had a hold on her bed and her dogs ceased and the dogs went back to being normal. But what a ride oh my god I honestly wonder what the dog sensed probably Satan back on his bullshit. And finally, at number one is the Border Collie. This story was shared by Juliet, who said her Border Collie is the most lovable dog in the world. And I'm sorry, Juliet, but I'm pretty sure everyone in the world with a dog would have to disagree with you on that one and say that no, no, their dog is the most lovable in the world. Either way, like the other dogs on the list, she's very social and friendly to the point it's a little embarrassing, like she'll slobber on anyone. One day, Juliet took her for a walk, and the dog was just running in the woods behind the house. She started randomly barking for no reason and when Juliet followed her gaze across a creek next to the woods, she saw her neighbours estranged husband just standing there. The dog was having a growling fit and Juliet had never seen his teeth bared as much as they were. Now this man wasn't allowed near his wife's house, he had recently even been arrested at the Canadian border for trying to kidnap his two sons. He used to beat his wife and his dog and the one other time her dog met him, she growled like crazy then too. Too. Obviously, her border collie smelled and sensed this man long before Juliet would have and was already on the hunt for blood. Honestly, this list is really making me appreciate dogs more. As a cat person, I like them, but like from afar, but now I'm like, dogs, I need one. And that's it for today's video, guys. I'm a major pet lover, honestly. I'm definitely a cat lady. Look at my Instagram, I literally post stories of my cat all the time. She's a princess, but I love dogs too. They're adorable, and I'm glad our furry friends have our back against things we can't even protect them from. Let me know if you've ever had an experience like this with your pet in the comments below. It doesn't have to be a dog, it can be anything, it can be a belly snake if you want it to. But as always, guys, I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll see you next time. Bye.